this is the result of a very long Sunday fun day, followed by three hours of sleep. <laughs> I um, fell asleep like right away when I got home last night, which is why you guys didn't see any uh, vlog after my up of the day. Uh, Sarah and I went to five bars, and I was home by eight o'clock. And then I fell asleep right away, and then I was woken up by the sound of like really, 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 really low helicopters, and it scared the crap out of me out of my sleep. Um, so Eddie went and checked, and apparently it was at a helicopter and like five airplanes following it very low. We still don't know why, but we live on the water, so hopefully it wasn't anything, you know, boat related or anything like that. Um, so then I was up from 9.45 or like 10 to 3 a.m. Awful. I could not fall asleep. Like, no matter what I did, I tried so many methods of falling asleep, it wouldn't work. So this is the result of that. Um, uploading the weekend vlog right now, 33 minutes until it's live and working oh i brought the target soy candle here and um i smell it a lot more here than i did at home because it's a smaller space so it's not all bad but I'm, they're still not my favorite candles i'm more of a bath and body works girl in case you guys are wondering something extremely epic just happened and i'm going to show you because i took a picture of it obviously and sent it to a bunch of people that right there says the Food Network started following me and I can't freaking believe it because I love the Food Network so much. I don't know. I mean, it probably doesn't mean much. Obviously, they're following 20,000 other people. But to me, that's like life made, which is exactly what I said when I Instagrammed it and shared it all over the place because I love it so much. Anyway, I'm about to leave work in a few minutes. The usual teacher is not teaching elevated training tonight and I'm debating if I'm actually going to push myself because I'm tired, but I just had an ice pop to give myself a sugar rush because I don't want to drink G Fuel so I could sleep later. But I've been working on this all day. What is this, you ask? These are the Delta Labs Ambassador swag bags. That's not even all the stuff that's going in them. That's just some of them. Um, and I'm really excited to ship them out to everybody at the end of this week. And we mailed out the first batch of ambassador announcement emails congratulating those who have been selected to be part of our family and I'm so excited um, because I feel like I get to really connect with you guys who some of you do watch these videos so I get to connect with you guys on a much more personal level uh, eventually maybe meet you and yeah like work with you so I'm really excited about that um, yeah so I got some bottles over here that are gonna be going out to some of them and I just really need to share that with you guys. I'm so excited about the Food Network calling me. Workout done. Now I'm back home and I'm taking the babes out in the yard, just, well, in the boat yard. Um, it's so nice out. My workout was okay. Um, kind of just one of those things you had to get through and I wasn't really as motivated, but I pushed myself, burned 428 calories. And I burned, since I got my heart rate monitor, I've done six workouts with it, aka a week for me, because I work out six days in a week. And actually, that's not even true, because I didn't work out yesterday. Anyway, 4,086 calories in six workouts. So I'm not too upset about that. And now, yeah, we're just hanging out in our little fake yard, which is what, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna shower and make myself a shake. And that's it. I'm going to veg out for the rest of the night. Okay, so I just remembered that I promised Eddie, and I'm thankful that I opened the fridge, that I would bake up the chicken for us. Um, that we got, we got this Liam Perrins uh, marinade in a bag. We've been really loving these lately, but this is the first time we're using the Liam Perrins brand. We normally use the Weber's, I think it is. So this is roasted garlic balsamic, and all I'm doing is I put a little bit of our butter olive oil in the bottom of a Pyrex dish. And I heated the oven up to 375, and I'm just gonna take out, I don't know if I should dump, I'm gonna dump the whole thing into the Pyrex dish, and that way all the marinades are gonna bake, all the marinated flavor is gonna bake into the chicken. Here we go. Oh, that was a little anticlimactic, huh? Chicken is completely coated. There's one huge chicken breast, and then two like, smaller sized ones so that's enough for the two of us because we'll just cut these into smaller pieces and I'm just gonna bake this they're very thin so maybe 15 20 minutes until they're cooked and I think that this is gonna be extremely flavorful chicken if you ask me and I know you were gonna ask 
And 20 minutes later, you have amazingly smelly good chicken. Yep, that's proper English. That's exactly what it makes you do. It makes you say great things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in a like a Tupperware once it cools a little bit and then just get rid of the excess marinade. I'm so tired, I can't even think straight. Um, and then I'm going to have mine. I'm gonna have mine tomorrow and then I'll have my other zucchini boats on Wednesday. Kind of like switch up my meals a little bit. But I'm going to have mine with some stir fry vegetables or asparagus and green beans. I guess we'll have to wait and see tomorrow.